Hi, I'm Valder Beebe. I'm the host and the visionary of the Valder Beebe show, God Talk. Some people talk to God and others believe that God talks to them. Join us in conversation with authors, religious clergy, metaphysicians, and regular people like you and I and God Talk. God Talk is a podcast available on FM Radio, Roku TV, and online. Subscribe at ValderBBShow.com. You can also subscribe at YouTube.com slash ValderBBShow. Join the conversation of God Talk. I'll see you there. Dr. Peter Bayek, your medical doctor. Thank you so much for being here to talk about men's health and the new survey. Tell me ab- uh, uh, about this men's survey that the Cleveland Clinic did. So the Mention It campaign, now in its sixth year, is a yearly survey that we've been putting on that coincides with Prostate Cancer Awareness Month. And the goal is to try to better understand men's health care related behaviors. We all know that men are not great about going to the doctor, so we're trying to understand what might be some of the barriers that might exist to men getting the care that they need. Every year we choose a different focus, and this year we wanted to focus on how digital health or virtual health is changing the healthcare landscape, and also some of the issues that might specifically be affecting men um, uh, who are minorities. Was there disparity in healthcare among minority men? And what were some of those issues that disproportionately affected those men? So we're, you know, there are a number of different ways uh, that minority men are disproportionately affected by various health conditions. For example, we know that kidney failure due to high blood pressure is more common amongst African American men. We know that Hispanic men are more likely to get diabetes and also complications related to diabetes. The more severe types of prostate cancer are more common amongst African American men. And even COVID-19 is more common amongst men who are African American or Hispanic, and both groups are more likely to die from that condition. Uh, Specifically as it pertains to this study, uh, we were looking at um, how digital health is changing a man's ability to come to the doctor. One of the barriers that we found was that men have a difficult time getting off of work to come see a doctor, and that was something that particularly affected Hispanic and African American men more than Caucasian men. With a virtual visit, you can actually just step out of work for a few minutes and you don't necessarily have to take the whole day off to go to the doctor. Or you might even be able to see a doctor during your lunch break. So it really improves the access to care for many of these men. Did you have a problem with men talking to their doctors and how did you overcome that? Yeah, you know, any of us who know men know that men don't love going to the doctor. And we think that some of those reasons might be particularly men who are older many of the issues they might deal with are very intimate in nature and might relate to urinary or sexual issues now it's important to realize that these might be uh, some of the first signs of a more serious condition like heart disease or diabetes and that's why we're trying to emphasize the importance of going and talking to a physician whether it's in person or even virtually Uh, So what we found over the last year is that actually two-thirds of men surveyed have had a virtual visit um, and that a a large proportion of men actually preferred a virtual visit, particularly if the visit was related to sexual dysfunction and similar topics. Well, it sounds like virtual is the way to go, girls. We need to talk to our guys about that. Where can they find out more information about this doctor? Yeah, so if anybody's interested in reading more, they can go to our website at clevelandclinic.org slash mention it. All right. I want to thank you for this great work because this is pretty historic to get guys to do this kind of stuff. Thanks for being my guest on the Valder BB show. Thank you so much for having me. Hi, I'm Valder BB. I host the Valder BB show broadcast on radio and television. And this is my phone pouch. My phone pouch is a great invention. It allows me to go hands-free, pocket-free, purse-free, even belt-free. Head on over to myphonepouch.com.